Obviously for me, after such an amazing year, it's, it's tough to take, but certainly uh, working harder than ever. It's a pretty cliche line, but um, obviously you, you, get, uh, you get hungry when times are tough like this, and you, know, and you get extra motivation to try and bounce back to, to where you know you should be running. Basically the first VE in over two years that uh, HRT have built. So naturally there are some areas that we've made nicer on the car. Uh, a lot of the same bits bolt onto the chassis, of course, with the, with the way the regulations are. But uh, certainly there are some areas we've refined and uh, you know, there will be a little bit of lap time there and hopefully it's enough to, to get us back up where we deserve to be and start getting on that podium. And uh, you know, for me, uh, I've never been so determined to get back to where, where I should be. Garth's had his time in the glory, which has proven that our team can do it when we get it right. And uh, as I said, we're working hard. We're not, we're not slacking at all. And at the moment, we're in a bit of a tough spot. But uh, you know, as I said, we're, we will come out the other end and, uh, and we're developing some stuff and we're confident we'll have some speed again soon. The cars don't really sound any different. You'd struggle to feel the difference. Uh, and at most tracks, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference with the, the new cam to the old cam, other than uh, hopefully the engines will be a lot more reliable and uh, cheaper to run. It's a, a fantastic uh, rule for the category. The way it was over the years, everybody developed their engines to get the absolute maximum amount of horsepower and that always comes at a price. At the moment, with a control cam against all of the normal open cams, there's really not much difference. And if you put everybody in the field onto a control cam, well, there'll be no difference at all. So it won't affect the racing whatsoever.